Okay, our second rule or our second law of exponent, we have quotient rule. If you have x raised to n divided by x raised to n equals, you're going to copy the base variable x, then you're going to subtract the exponent m minus n. Therefore, the result will become x raised to m minus n. Example, x raised to 5 over x raised to 5 over x squared equals x raised to 5 minus 2. What will happen? Copy x. 5 minus 2 is 3. Therefore, the result is x cubed or x raised to 3. Another example of quotient rule, b raised to 6 divided by b squared. Copy the base variable b. 6 minus 2, subtract the exponent. 6 minus 2, b. 6 minus 2 is 4. Therefore, the answer is b raised to 4. Another example of quotient rule, if you have p raised to 15 divided by p raised to 6, what will happen? First step, copy the base variable p, then subtract the exponent. 15 minus 6, p raised to 15 minus 6 is 9. Therefore, the result or the answer is p raised to 9. How about the next example of quotient rule? t raised to 17 divided by t raised to 5 equals... Okay, ang ating variable ay t variable. Kukopihin natin. Then subtract the exponent. 17 minus 5. Copy the variable t. 17 minus 5 equals 12. Therefore, the answer is t raised to 12.